What's up, Cowboy Nation, Cowboy Headquarters, and America Team? It's your boy G, the number one Cowboy fan, Hampton, coming to you live, direct, and correct with some mo news. That's right, I said mo, m o news that you can use. And here we are. I'm back. I know it's been a while, man. I hadn't had a chance to do any posting um, here lately. I've been on a conference. I've been at a conference. Let me say it like that. I've been at a conference. Um, last week, um, big shout out to all the folks that lives up in Michigan, man. I had a chance to meet some great people from up in the Michigan area, and uh, wow, you know, being at that conference and and uh, meeting, you know, people from the D town, what they call it, uh, yeah, Detroit. Met some great people. Not only that, I met some good people from Indiana as well. So I want to say, uh, I want to give a big shout out to those that I met at the conference. It was, man, it was a blast, man. We learned a lot, but it was, it was a great uh, opportunity to network and uh, meet new people. So um, that was definitely a blessing. So, but here we are, here we are getting ready to uh, tap into some of this cowboy talk. Um, also, let me say this. Let me say, I got to say this. I uh, want to say thank you to all our subscribers and all those that are a part of the Cowboy Huddle. Got to give it to you. But anyway. Yeah. Got to give a big shout out to you guys for your, you, for your support and uh, what you have done to get us where we are. We are almost at the 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please take this opportunity to subscribe like and share this video so we can move forward and hey, we got some things coming up also we got some product and some merch that we're going to start putting up and we're going to be trying to uh either either uh do some giveaways but also some things that you guys can purchase that you can have your own uh personal merch with the cowboy huddle um logo on there and uh, yeah so we got some things coming up so um again thank y'all man for being a part of this channel so I wanted to get into this real quick. Um, <laughs> it's been told. I did a. <laughs> it was so funny, man. I mean, it's so. Uh, oh, not all of that. I got before I do that. I got to give my shout out to to my social media supporters. My social media supporters. First of all, let's say uh, what's up to the Dallas Cowboys on deck. Uh, Cowboys fan three sixty five. We them boys. Dallas Cowboys inside. And we want to say thank y'all, man, for what you have done as far as sharing our information and, and posting our videos on uh, your website. Not on your website, but your, your social media, your social media uh, page and all that good stuff. But thank y'all, man, for uh, the great response we've been getting from all the, uh, uh, the, the members in those groups. So, but anyway, I wanted to get into this. So I put a video up not long ago. We're talking about Derrick Henry and uh title of some Derrick Henry going to the Dallas Cowboys. And my gosh, some, some caught on to what the, you know, what was actually taking place, but some were saying, well, why do we play? Why do we keep posting stupid stuff? Why do we keep posting stuff that don't make sense? Well, it wasn't just a post. But y'all fail to realize it was a video. <laughs> so you saw the title and thought maybe it was just a post on social media, but it wasn't a, a, just a post. It was a video. And if you would have looked, it was said, here's a video that you might like. <laughs> and, but some people that actually watched the video exact, knew exactly what I was talking about, but which I knew that that wouldn't be the case, but it was a rumor. That everyone was talking about how it's possible that Derrick Henry could go to the Dallas Cowboys. And, you know, I, again, I said it didn't make sense. If you're going to pay somebody, pay the guy that, that came to the Dallas Cowboys, the guy that danced with you, which was Zeke Elliott. Why would we give up Zeke and bring in Derrick Henry? And that, which I heard also people saying, well, he has, he has more left in the tank than Zeke. Well, to each his own. I, I, again, I would rather have brought. Zeke back if we're going to do that but again it was just a rumor but people some people fail to real fail to see that it said here's a video that you might like 
So they just read the title and like, oh, this is stupid stuff. But again, I didn't really think it was it was it was nonsense. I thought it was nonsense. And now it's being told by a source uh, from Frisco that reports that the Dallas Cowboys are actively. No, no, I'm, I'm not even going that far. I'm going to I'm going to go down further than that. From Frisco, as a source reported that there is nothing there. A team source tells us as of Saturday afternoon, even as rumor continued to spread, that mentions Dallas yet to be determined compensation package for the Titans for Derrick Karen. So that just confirmed. Dallas has said, listen, we're not trying to bring Derrick Henry into our locker room. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense financially. It doesn't make sense uh, as far as player being on the team. It just didn't make sense. So now we know. There's, I guess there's a reliable source that's saying that there's nothing there. There's nothing there. It won't happen. It won't be the case. But, you know, again, I, I said in the video that I, I felt that it was, it, you know, wasn't going to happen. But we have folks that was thinking that it was just <laughs> a post without watching the video. So, again, so now we know. Now we know that, I guess, a reliable source in the locker room saying there's nothing there. There's nothing to see here. But um, also, um, I wanted to talk about this here, too. Um, so this is from our Cowboys legend, DeMarcus Ware. And he kind of had a little doubt about the situation, which... Um, where had spoke with the Fort Worth Star, Star Telegram. And uh, where I told the Fort Worth Star Telegram that the team should consider taking a strong running back in the upcoming NFL draft. He said, quote, Zeke is gone and you got Tony Pollard, but you don't know how he's going to come back. Where I said, he said, uh, I also said, I know he's going to come back strong, but I think getting another strong back in the draft you've got enough wide receivers so get another strong back that you can move the chains mm. and here we are we're talking about B. John robinson dropping the 26 we're talking about cowboys jumping up to the 11th the 10th pick to take B. John robinson we're talking about basically what i have said uh, if we were to go out and get a running back, uh, Tank Bigsby, which I, I had mentioned, Tank Bigsby, and uh, Kendra Miller out of TCU. Tank Bigsby is from Auburn. So these are two, these are two um, running backs that I thought we would go out and maybe consider. Maybe not the first round, but maybe second round or something of that nature. But the question still lies. Did we forget that Tony Pollard is our starting running back? Why are we why are we so into talking about quite my this seat is tripping? Hold on, y'all. This I gotta pump it up. Just to bring it back up. You know, I got this chair, which is not a new chair, but it was given to me because someone didn't want it no one, no more. So I said, yeah, man, I take that chair and I put it in my room, sit back in it like this, whatever. Man, this joke here, the hydraulics don't want to happen. This bad boy. So y'all see me in a minute, I'll be doing this here. See, it'll go down like that. Say, listen, this is not ESPN or Sports Center. This is your, this is just a fanatic talking about his cowboy. So yeah, I got some used stuff in my room. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah we are man we are sitting here talking about different running backs oh we gotta get running back gotta get this running back oh what about this running back oh this run man i'm you know i think tony pollard probably feeling disrespected right about now now we was all gung-ho about tony pollard when he was here and what he did these last two years but here we all talk about we gotta get a running back why well, gotta get run yeah we gotta get a running back i would go jump in 26 from two to number three or whatever what we're talking about running backs when we got a running back. 
So the question is, do we not have faith in Tony Pollard? If we don't have faith in Tony Pollard, why do we sign him? You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just wondering if that is the case that we're so heavy into looking for a running back. Why do we sign Tony Pollard? Oh, I want the one-two combo, one-two connection. Well, you had the one-two connection. So, what do we do? We go and draft the running back first round. I think not. I don't think we get a running back in 20, in, at 26. It's not going to happen because there's so many out there. But we got to remember, people, Tony Pollard is our starting running back. We should be buying Tony Pollard jerseys. We should be uplifting Tony Pollard. But from the conversations, we're talking about B. John Robbins. We're talking about Tank Bigsby. We're talking about Kendra Miller. We're talking about... Uh, what's his name? Gibbs. You know, we're talking about all these other running backs, but we got a running back people. Oh, but he doesn't pick up the blocks like he's supposed to. Well, damn, why the hell we've signed him? Man, this chair is tripping for real, y'all. <laughs> it's really showing out today. <laughs> this chair is showing out. Sit, boo-boo. <laughs> but anyway, so, yeah, man, that's been the biggest Biggest topic about a running back. Running back. We want B. John Robinson. We want Tank Gisby. A Bigsby. But at the end of the day, guys, Tony Pollard is our starting running back. And some of us probably say, oh, but we need a little help. <laughs> help to do what? Emmy Smith didn't need help. You know what I mean? Uh, Marshall Falk didn't need help. Who else? Eric Dickerson didn't need help. Um, yeah, the list goes on. We can talk about a whole bunch of running backs that need help, but while all of a sudden we got to have two running backs? Oh, we got to have two running backs. Anyway. Anyway, so <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know that Tony Pollard is our starting running back. Okay, and with this draft coming up, uh, what is it next week? Yeah, draft is coming up next week. So, uh, at the twenty-six pick, what happens? We do like we always been doing. BPA, baby, best player available. That's what's gonna happen. I personally said offensive guard, but you know, and that probably could still happen. But if somebody drops. Now, what I wouldn't want to see, I don't want to see an edge rusher right now. I want to see an edge rusher. I want to see a defensive tackle at 26. You know, don't really want to see a receiver when you got, you know, a whole uh, a plethora of receivers. But I could probably see at that number one offensive, offensive lineman. Yeah, I could see an offensive lineman first round. But if that doesn't happen, I say the Dallas Cowboys do what they always been doing. And that's going with the BPA. That's what they've been doing. So I just wanted to get on here and uh, basically just kind of share that with you guys and remind everybody that we do have a running back. His name is Tony Pollard. Y'all put some respect on Tony Pollard's name. Him. Spec on Tony Pollard. Name. Anyway, it's your boy, G, the number one cowboy fan, Hampton. And with that being said, you all continue to enjoy your beautiful, lovely weekend. Because I'm out. Deuce. Go Tony Pollard. Come on now. Back our starting quarterback. Running back. And our quarterback. Deuces.